Hi guys, it's Rosie and here is another way that you can do Bible art journaling using clear sticker paper and watercolor, especially if you don't know how to draw because I don't know how to draw. So <clears throat> this image here is from uh, Amanda from Devotion in Action and um, uh, this is part of her lens series. And usually what I do is I transfer her images into my Bible using carbon paper. But this time I thought, gee, why don't I use print it off with my sticker paper and watercolor on my sticker paper? So one of my concerns was though, um, because I have an inkjet printer, even after letting it settle, uh, if I started applying a wet medium, would that those ink lines um, smudge? So what I did is once that ink settled in, I used um, um, a black Sharpie marker and went over the image. Um, and then I let that settle. Be careful using a fine, very, very tiny nib markers. Um, uh, they don't really like the, the tooth on sticker paper. So that's what I did, printed it off using my inkjet ink printer <clears throat> and um, went over it with my black Sharpie marker and let that dry for the next step. And that is to watercolor the image. So that's just a really cool different way if you have clear sticker paper. All right, so for this image, uh, again, I uh, let it dry. I did use my hair dryer to dry it, make sure that the uh, black marker was uh, settled in there on a cool setting though, not on a hot setting. Uh, as it is sticker paper, I was afraid something might happen to it. And so then I started applying um, my uh, uh, my watercolor. Now I was try to be careful not to use too much water, more pigmentation. But then I found I had too much pigmentation sometimes and used a little bit of water just to, because you, you could probably get this soaking wet and lose the stickiness on the back of your sticker paper. So you just have to be careful. But I did, it, it was fine. Um, I did apply more water so I could spread that watercolor over and it was really fun to do because it just smoothed it over and that and it moved around quite nicely actually um, and you can always dab if you're careful uh, when you're watercolor you can always take a tissue or a piece of paper towel and just dab if you've got to if you've got too much water on there so yeah so that's really all I did is just went ahead with my paintbrush and applied some color. Uh, I, I did smear it though. I was doing the main part of the flower and my other part had watercolor on it that wasn't dry. And so just be careful where your arm and your hand is and turn your paper around when you, when you need to paint. So it's pretty cool. All right, so here is the final product, so to speak. Uh, when I was done watercoloring, I let it dry all the way. Um, if you kind of just tip your, your, your picture and have some light shiny, you can tell whether it's dry or not. Um, and then I just cut around my sticker paper. You don't have to, with the thing with clear sticker papers, you don't have to cut it perfectly, which is wonderful. You just have to be careful when you lay it down because once you lay it down, it's there. <laughs> so yeah, so really, um, this was really quite easy. This was really quite a fun way to, um, to get an image down. I just love to show different ways that people can do this without having to uh, have the ability to draw. So really just laid it down and, and that's, that's it. And, and um, underlined um, my verse in that. Uh, Amanda has a beautiful devotion that goes with it. Um, I'll have it in the link. I'll have, yeah, I'll have that in the link in that. And I have to apologize for any dogs and trains you hear. This is done at home. This is my life. <laughs> so yeah, so I hope this is helpful to anybody. Uh, again, you don't have to use sticker paper. You print it off on any kind of paper, stick it into your Bible, use some pencil crayons, but it's just a unique way, a different way of doing things. Thanks guys. Take care. Bye.